so that law may be said to consist of rules of conduct with legal force and effect that are enforced by a controlling authority such as a government. Having learned our first definition, it's important for us to realize that I can only teach you law generally and that there are at least two sides to virtually every legal issue and every legal problem. And that's one of the beauties of law. I love law for that fact. So when I state that law is a set of rules of conduct with legal force and effect that's enforced by a government, there's going to be a lot of you out there who are going to point to exceptions to this rule. Some of you will say that, look, governments don't always enforce the law. And you know you're right. There are at least two sides to virtually every issue in law. And your objective as a paralegal is to find the rule that best supports your proposition, your client's proposition. What do paralegals do? From what I understand, I think they help in research issues. They help um, in, in drafting pleadings and filings. and. Uh, just in general, I guess. A paralegal is somebody that does research, somebody that assists the lawyer. Aren't they sort of a, an assistant to uh, an attorney? Mm -hmm. A paralegal is a non-attorney uh, personnel, non-personnel staff that handles the attorneys, helps assist the attorneys in their bankruptcy and or PI cases. A paralegal is someone that works to support an attorney. They would do research, draw up papers and that kind of thing. Really, it's the lawyer. They do all the lawyer's work, and uh, the lawyer gets all the credit for it. Paralegals, if they're properly trained, are people that could really be of benefit to lawyers and, and a lot of other things. Usually a paralegal, I believe, is an assistant to, to lawyers. 